What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. It's a little bit chilly out here. It's a lot cooler to me than 49 degrees. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time with this CX-5. This is a carbon edition, and then we're going to focus on the Premium Plus behind me. And what we're talking about today is the multi-information display. So 4.6 inches over here, 7 inches over there. So we're going to jump in and do all the comparisons. So let's get out of this cool weather and get behind the wheel. More, 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 more carbon. More, 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 more carbon. So jumping in here, of course, it's going to take a little while for this engine to warm up, which is the, the blue uh, temperature light that you see. So first we'll notice that this is an analog. This actually is an arm or needle here that will track your speed. And you can see that we've got miles on the outside, kilometers per hour on the inside. Tachometer over here, a little LCD display showing which uh, gear you're in. Currently we're in park. And this is where all the magic happens over on this side. So this is your 4.6 inch multi-information display. We are on trip B and you can see your uh, current miles per gallon, your fuel temperature, 48 degrees, three miles. So let's just scroll through. Here is your engine temperature and it also shows when the service is due. So you can set that to 5,000, 7,500, which is default with the synthetic oil. Everything down on the bottom half stays the same. Scroll to this one, shows your uh, lanes for lane departure. Also, these lines are the distances for the uh, Mazda Radar Cruise Control. And moving on, here is that engine temperature again and distance to empty and the direction that we're facing. So we're facing north and trip A, which is the same as trip B. So shows the distance and trip and also the average fuel economy or miles per gallon in that trip. And you can see it changes up top here. So that's basically all there is to cover on this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and push this here. And you can see this is the dimmer, bright dim. And my lights are on because it's uh, automatic lights are on. So you can see this is with the lights off. So it has a couple of different uh, settings there. And um, that's everything. So this is the 2.5S, the Select, the Preferred, and the Carbon Edition, like this vehicle I'm sitting in. So let's uh, go through this little misty cool stuff and go sit in that Premium Plus. Okay, this one's warming up a little bit. And so this is a seven inch multi-information display here. So just to point out, very similar to the CX-50 that we looked at the other day, you have the temperature, it's 49 now, so it warmed up a degree. Then you have your average miles per gallon, 13 miles on the odometer, 62 miles to empty, distance to empty. And then as you see right here, it is a digital readout of the needle. And you have, well, this one's set on uh, kilometers here. Let me change that. So you can push this right here. Changes from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. So we're on miles per hour now, and that's one good benefit. It's nice and clear wherever you're driving at. And you can see down here we have that it's uh, gonna get brighter when you pick up the lanes for lane departure. And then of course the gear that you're in. I'm gonna hit again the info button right here on the steering wheel. And as I hit that, we scroll through. So here's trip A, the same readout as the carbon edition we were just in. So you have the distance for the trip and your average uh, miles per gallon. Trip B, and of course, as you see there, you can hold it to reset it, hold the info button. And here is the uh, vehicle. These lines will become solid when, you, uh, when the camera reads the lanes for lane departure. And then when you turn your cruise control on, uh, you can see that line out there. You can adjust the distance on your cruise control when you have it set. So it's it's reading that radar out there, and then here's your 
uh, cruise speed when you get that set when you're moving. <clears throat> of course, you can push and hold this uh, cruise when necessary to uh, turn the uh, radar off if you just want standard cruise and you see that line goes away and you turn it back on. I'm going to turn it off now. Hit the info button again. Shows the service doing 7,500 miles. Uh, here's our compass, so northwest and 61 miles to empty. And back to the off screen as it reads or just the standard. So that's a quick look here at both multi-information displays on the uh, 2023 CX-5s. Of course, this screen, the 7-inch, is on your premium, premium plus, turbo, and signature model. Thanks for joining me for this look at the multi-information display on the 2023 CX-5. Uh, turn on these interior lights to brighten it up a little bit. If you have any questions or comments, you can always drop them down below or you can text me at 334-718-0504. I am Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda. On the boulevard, it's pretty chilly tonight, and I really can't wait to see you in a beautiful CX-5.